Hi, this is Donna with the Happy Couponer Marketplace. Today is Saturday, March 7, 2015. And I'm stressing the date because sometime today we're going to change the shipping fees on the website and I wanted to make everybody aware of it. Um, the changes will take place today. Uh, first class mail shipping via the United States Post Office is still going to be free. We currently offer the, our customers the option to add priority mail delivery to one vendor or one coupon. And today we're going to add the uh, option for them to also add tracking. Um, both of these, priority and tracking, the customer will have to pay for. And then you will get the fees um, for your information. Let me find my file here. Here's what those fees will look like. Priority shipping, the customer, we're going to raise the price a little bit. The customer will pay $6.85. The vendor will receive $6.35 of that in their next PayPal transfer. Um, first class mail with tracking. We're going to charge the customer $3. The vendor will get $2.80 in their next PayPal transfer. The reason we've set these fees the way they are, um, we don't want to eat the PayPal fee on shipping and neither do you. So this way when we transfer this money to you and after PayPal takes their bite out of it you will still have enough to pay for priority or first class mail left over. Alright, hang on a sec. Okay, the purpose of this video is to show you how we use PayPal to pay for either priority mail or tracking. I had totally forgotten about this. Thank you, Puzzled Kitty, for reminding me how to use this. Um, the benefits are, A, you do not have to go to the post office. You don't have to run to the post office for one envelope that needs priority shipping on it. You can print it directly from home and stick it in your mailbox if that's how you handle most of your mailings. And it's also cheaper. Um, PayPal has a discount with the United States Post Office because of all the eBay traffic they do. And nine times out of ten, it's cheaper to buy your postage, your bulk, this larger postage amounts through PayPal than it is to go directly to the post office. Trust me, I've tested it. Uh, we have paid five dollars and ninety cents, I think, for priority shipping before and with PayPal you can get it for as low as five dollars and three cents so I mean it's quite a chunk of change when you think about it that's a couple of stamps you save so let me log on to my PayPal account here and show you what I'm talking about PayPal. Okay, the first thing you need to do is look for a transaction, someone who sent you money via the paying for goods and services option, and who provided a ship. Well, I guess you really don't even need a shipping address because you're going to edit it. The best thing to do is just look for your most recent payment from us. It will say payment from the Happy Couponer, and open up that transaction. And you're going to handle this just like you wanted to print a shipping label to send this transaction. The money came from the Happy Couponer. Let's say you're going to, you want to ship something to anybody. Scroll down the page. There's the top. Scroll down the page. Click on this print shipping label link. And edit the address. You can send this. You can completely change this address to whoever you want it to be. Suzy Q. We'll make her Susie Smith. Uh, 123 Main Street. Zip code, I'm going to leave it the same because I don't have a bunch of zip codes in front of me today. Susie Smith, there, there's your new address. Then just scroll down and, and um, the next thing you need to do is service type. Here, if you choose, pri you can choose Priority Mail. You can choose Priority Mail Express, which I would not recommend. It's a lot more expensive. Priority mail, priority mail these days takes two to three days. Priority mail express these days 
takes two to three days. And both of those, that's on a good, a good day. So anyway, you could choose priority mail, package size. If you're going priority, you want to use package, thick envelope. Oh, I'm sorry, not that. You want to use flat rate envelope. Flat rate envelope. Um, it, you can ship anything up to 70 pounds in a flat rate envelope. So you've got the person's shipping address up here. You've chosen your service type and your package size, and that's all you need to do. You don't need to worry about the mailing date. That's automatically filled in. You don't want unless you want delivery confirmation delivery confirmation is free I mean if you want signature confirmation you can check it and pay an extra 235 but why bother um, this is the default setting display postage value on the label no you don't want the customer to know how much you paid for postage in case you make a little money off of it you don't want them to know that um, if you want to buy insurance that's your up that's up to you but the default is no you really don't have to do anything after you check flat rate envelope. Scroll down and hit continue. And you can see the postage for this would be five dollars and five cents. If I took this same envelope to my local post office, it would be five dollars and ninety cents. So you saved eighty-five cents right there. That's you know, the price of two stamps, two more envelopes you could have mailed out. Um, okay, we do not want that. That shows you how to do priority mail. Then, when you're ready, you just scroll down and click pay and continue. Um, a screen pops up that allows you to print your shipping label, and you know, you take it on the package and go from there. So, let's go back and do one for this tracking so you can see how tracking works. Same thing, look for a payment that someone paid to you using the paying for goods and services option. If they just transfer money to you as friends and family, then PayPal does not that you don't have a link on here where you can click to print a shipping label. So that's why I say just look for your most recent payment from us. And you can print multiple labels on this. Jessica and I when we were clipping we'd count go back here and clip sometimes print sometimes five or ten labels. If I if I had already printed one shipping if I had already edited this address and printed one shipping label, right down here at the bottom it would say print another shipping label. And you just click on that and, and do the same thing over again. So click print shipping label, edit your address, we're sending to Susie Smith again because she's such an awesome customer. And her address is still 123 Main Street. She's lived there forever. Columbus, Ohio, 43223. Scroll down. Service type. We want first class mail. Package size. Um, again, package thick envelope is the one you want. You cannot ship more than 13 ounces, which we all know that. 12 ounces in there. Um, again, you don't need to change any of these default settings unless you want to. Just click continue. It gives you a, a screen so you can check and make sure everything's okay, the shipping address. Postage is $3.29. If you went to the post office, you can no longer add tracking to first class mail. You used to be able to add it for three dollars. You cannot do that anymore. Now you have to actually pay for a priority mail which is five dollars or five dollars and ninety cents depending on how you're doing it. This lets you ship first class mail with tracking on when you go through PayPal. So click pay and continue and you'll see The little screen pop up here so you can print your label. Now I'm gonna I'm not gonna bother printing the label because I've already got one printed out. Um, reprint your label, go to my account overview.
There's where I just paid for this. Dollar ninety three, I think. Sounds right. There's my this is your PayPal transaction ID. Don't get that confused with your tracking information. Down here, your tracking number. Just copy that. Now if you are going to put, if a customer pays for tracking and you put tracking on it through PayPal, normally if you were if the customer had paid you directly and you clicked on their PayPal transaction and went through this whole process to print out uh, this tracking postage, the customer would automatically receive an email with that tracking number on it. But since you don't have access to the customer's payment, all you have access to, if you use that happy coupon or payment where we pay you every week, if you use that transaction to print all of your tracking postage that you need for customers then I will get the emails. The emails will come to me and I will have the tracking number in case the customer wants it. Um, you could also go a step further provide better customer service since you've got this screen up anyway quick copy and paste this right click copy and go over and paste it in your customer notes just like you normally do notes and that way the customer gets the tracking number. But there you go, there you're good to go. Um, that shows you how to do priority shipping and with the money that we, like I said, we're going to send six dollars and thirty-five cents to vendor and what was that? Five dollars and some change so you'll have plenty of money to pay for priority and or tracking. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks and have a great day.